Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review and today I've got a product. This is a portable battery powered air compressor for, uh, you know, inflating your car tire on the side of the road if you happen to get a flat or something like that or your bicycle, motorcycle, or even a basketball, which I have in the background there, and we'll be using that as a demonstration. This is also a power bank, so it does have a USB output port so that you can use this uh, to charge devices like phones or tablets. We're gonna dig into this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that you get once you get it out of the box. Of course, you get the main unit, and it's a pretty small and compact unit for what it does. You do get the main hose here with a locking clamp, and this is what you will lock onto for your uh, tire or whatever you're going to inflate, and it screws into the top of the unit. You do have a few different ways of charging this. You can use DC for your 12-volt uh, adapter in your car uh, to charge this 6,500 milliamp internal battery, uh, or you can use a, a USB Type-C cable, which I'll show you in just a second. They also give you a bunch of uh, tips here for this uh, to adapt to different things that you need to inflate uh, like you know this one is for a basketball uh, you've got some maybe something for like a pool floaty or uh, a, a lot of other different attachments as well to get you going so you do have all of these here and they are already and available for you now you do get a, a d29 smart air pump instruction manual it is written in English it's well laid out the print is pretty small though so just have that in mind uh, hold on to it for reference and of course the other way that you can charge this is via USB a standard USB to a USB type C and uh, you can do that or the car adapter uh, to uh, charge up the 6500 milliamp battery that's in the unit uh, now you can plug this into any laptop or PC's USB or you can just use your phones or uh, tablets uh, AC to USB adapter Okay, so let's take a look at the main unit here. Uh, this is an all-plastic unit, but very hard plastic. Uh, feels durable, but it is fairly compact for what it does. All of your buttons are here. You have a plus and minus button, power button in the middle, mode button at the top. Uh, on the top of the unit, you do have a USB type A out, and this is so that you can charge uh, USB devices such as your phone or your tablet. You do get an LED light, and of course, this is where your hose will go uh, for whatever you're gonna inflate. Now, along the right-hand side, you do have an SOS bar, another LED light there, uh, and on the bottom, you have both of your charging inputs, be it either DC or USB type C. Now on the back, we do have some grilling there, and that is to keep the unit cool while it's running. Holding down the middle power button for a few moments will uh, turn the unit on here, and as you can see, the LCD is nice and bright, uh, and it's currently set to bar. You can also set it to uh, PSI uh, and a few others as well using the bottom button. Also, the plus and minus buttons, you can adjust your target PSI uh, depending on what you want it to be. Single clicking the bottom button will change that from bar to KPA uh, to other international uh, units of measure. We're going to leave ours on uh, PSI. Okay, so now that we have it set up in PSI, you can use the top button uh, to uh, change your mode. You can see it's in a car tire mode here, uh, and we can switch this between car tire uh, to uh, motorcycle to bicycle to uh, basketball and the basketball is a target of 8 PSI. I have a basketball over here that we will do a test in just a few moments, uh, but then, it, you know, it targets uh, everything at a certain PSI, but of course with the plus and minus buttons, you can adjust that PSI to whatever you would like. Now the bottom button, uh, when you uh, press and hold the, bo the bottom button there, uh, you're gonna uh, light up the uh, LED light on the top, and if you double press it, uh, it will actually um, show you the light on the side. And I'll get to that in just a second. Single pressing it will change it from PSI to uh, BAR, 
uh, to KPA, depending on where you live, that will be your international unit of measurement. So you can see double pressing will uh, definitely give us that SOS on the uh, left-hand side. Single pressing will uh, and holding will give us that uh, LED light on the top. So you actually have that in case you uh, need uh, to illuminate something in the dark. You do have that as well. Uh, so overall, pretty nice functions here. And again, of course, it's a power bank. Uh, so that is interesting as well. So let's get to uh, inflating this deflated basketball so you can check it out in action. So I've deflated this basketball down uh, pretty much nothing here. Uh, and it's only 8 PSI, so it should only take a few seconds to inflate. Uh, but we want to test the target, make sure that it targets out and stops, automatically shuts off uh, at 8 PSI. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, connect the hose to the top of the unit. Uh, and you can't really screw the hose in. You kind of have to spin the unit around the ho hose uh, itself. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, and it's portable enough that it's easy enough to do this. So now that we've got the hose connected, we're just going to insert this in the basketball here. And we'll turn it on. You can hear about how loud it is. Uh, but what I'm going to do is set this for uh, 8 PSI, I believe, is what I should set for this basketball. And we want to make sure that we're in the correct mode for it as well. Okay, so you can see it did indeed stop at 8 PSI, what it was set for, and it is totally inflated now. Of course, it only took a little bit of time on this uh, mini basketball, which is a 22-inch basketball, size 3, uh, so it's not a full basketball. But if you did want to do just basketballs with this, you can get up to 80 refills on one charge, 27 bicycle tires, 22 uh, motorcycle tires, or 13 car or truck tires. Okay, so of course this doubles as a power bank, so if you do want to plug something in, like say my phone, I can just plug right in here to the USB Type-A output and then plug into my phone and it acts as a power bank with 6,500 milliamps of power. So you can definitely recharge your phone. It's not going to be the fastest charging, but in a pinch it will definitely do. So there's my review of this portable air compressor. Uh, battery powered, not having to have it plugged in while it's being used is definitely a plus. Also doubling as a power bank is also a plus. And of course it does what it's supposed to do. It inflates stuff, which works out really, really well. I'm definitely gonna give this one a thumbs up. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.